what I found listening to intricate poem forms as opposed to reading them is that if I do it right, you have a hard time telling where the ends of the lines are. So I'm going to give you something to listen for. The rondo only has two legal rhymes. There's an A and a B, and that's it. And let me tell you, when you start with, I, I, I thought it would be cool for, to have the word touch as one of the words that rhymes. There's not that many words in English that, that rhyme with touch. So I was running out of them. Um, as it turns, yes, there's a couple. As it turns out, by the way, I found out what a nun such rhymes with touch. What a nun such <laughs> is. A nun such is an exemplar of the best of something. I, I, I kept that. Um, and um, I noticed that some other people were doing something clever, and I did, I did, I did the same thing, which is to come up with a piece that could fit into more than one challenge in case the rondo were to get, like, get filled up. Not so much of a worry about that. So, again in, in the poem. That's what gives it its structure. Ooh, ooh. So here we go. Fierce light through snow-encrusted trees casts ghastly shadows, and the breeze that blends its flesh, uh, which, it, which, which dares its touch, just sets the branches swaying, much as nursemaids do rock their babes to ease. The shadow dance on snowbank serves to tease the ground beneath, which covered only sees a hunter prowl, the trembling hair in hutch, fears light through snow. But you, my shining friends, come, seize the deathly day, and may it please us, raise with rhyme and song none such what brilliancies as might we clutch, so may we in one voice increase fierce light through snow. Thank you.